Leadership comes in many shapes and sizes, but in the video game industry, does it really impact our behavior when it comes to purchasing games? Today, you're gonna to take a quiz and we're gonna to get to the bottom of that question. See you on the other side. Now here's the deal. I've personally hand selected three executives that I would say are kind of in the limelight right now when it comes to video games, good, bad, indifferent. It's not the point. The point is I want to drive home something that I feel is important and that actually does impact our behavior as gamers. And that is the leadership, the tone, the style of the game developers, the organizations, whether they're AAA studios or indie game developers, that's not the point. What I'm trying to establish in this video is that leadership does matter and does impact how gamers choose whether or not to purchase a game or support that studio. So here are the ground rules. I'm gonna do a quick little bio on three individuals that I've hand selected. I'm gonna give you a little introduction into them. You already know them. If you've spent one minute playing any video game, you should know who these three individuals are. And then if you could do me a solid and after watching this video, go into the comment section of the video. And if you could provide your answers to the question, I would appreciate it. And my point is, I'm going to collect this information. I'll do a part two to this video and we'll discuss that. And you guys can either confirm my opinion or debunk it. Only time will tell. So let's get to it with the first executive. First up, we have Todd Howard, the visionary behind iconic franchises like The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and the recently released Starfield. Todd's leadership style is characterized by his unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of open world RPGs. He's known for his hands-on approach to game development and his dedication to creating vast, immersive game worlds. Under Todd's leadership, Bethesda games are renowned for their rich storytelling, open-ended exploration, and modding communities. Players often feel deeply connected to the worlds he creates forging emotional bonds with both the games and the studio itself. Bethesda's loyal fan base often eagerly anticipates each new release. Todd's leadership instills trust in players that their investment will be rewarded with unforgettable gaming experiences. This trust has a significant impact on purchasing behavior as fans are more likely to pre-order invest in the DLC and expansions. Next, we have Chris Wilson the co-founder of Grinding Gear Games, known for the critically acclaimed action RPG Path of Exile. Chris embodies the indie spirit, leading a studio that's passionate about creating games without the constraints of a big corporate structure. Chris's leadership style fosters a strong sense of community and player feedback. Path of Exile's success can be attributed in part to the studio's transparency and willingness to engage with the player base. Gamers appreciate being heard and having a direct line to the developers. The player first approach of Grinding Gear Games has led to a dedicated and supportive player base. Players are often more inclined to make in-game purchases to support a studio that listens to their needs and continually enhances their gaming experience. Lastly, we have Rod Ferguson, a veteran in the gaming industry known for his work on franchises like Gears of War. Rod took on the role of leadership at Blizzard steering the ship for iconic titles like Diablo and Overwatch. Rod's leadership is marked by a commitment to quality and a focus on player satisfaction. Blizzard games are polished to perfection and players often appreciate the attention to detail and the immersive worlds created under his leadership. While Blizzard's monetization models have evolved, the studio still manages to retain a player base that trusts the quality of their games. Players are more willing to invest in microtransactions and expansions when they believe they are getting exceptional value for their money. Pretty inspiring bios, wouldn't you say? These are three individuals that regardless of where you stand on an opinion about them, 
they definitely have made an impact in the video gaming industry. So hats off to all three of them. Now some housekeeping. I was on the fence about whether or not to provide my responses, my top four thoughts that come to mind with each one of these three individuals. And But then I thought, you know what, if I provide my top four for each individual, it'll probably influence and skew your responses. So if it's okay with you guys, I'm going to provide my responses to these questions on part two of this video, and then I'll compare my responses to what the majority of you answered. I hope that's okay, but I didn't want to skew the responses. So we're going to wait for my responses until part two of this video. So remember, ground rules, top four thoughts that come into your mind for each one of these individuals. What characteristic traits first pop into your head? I would strongly suggest you give yourself one minute. There's no changing. What is the first characteristic traits immediately that come to your mind when you see their images? That will clearly get the true response to how you feel about these three individuals. Okay, everyone, please do not forget to put your responses in the comment section in this video. And again, thanks for watching everybody. I really do appreciate it. I'm super excited to see the responses. And in part two of this video, the follow-up video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of dialogue on why I wanted to make this kind of video. Because if we get the responses that I think we're going to get, it's going to really tie in to the premise of this video. So good luck with writing those answers down. And don't forget to put them in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.